fellow humans. Welcome in the most random show on the internet. Which challenge will we face today in the fabulous world of 3D graphics? We are going to discover it very soon. How? With the trusted randomizer I coded a couple of videos ago. Okay, let's fire the program. Yeah, it is. Okay, not bad, not bad. I can do it. I think it will be funny. I played with the game engine only a few times, but I never created proper realistic materials with it, especially using shading language. So if you want to see me failing miserably, I suggest to keep watching. I'm Artificial Marvin and you're watching The Surface. <laughs> First thing first, I will need a lot of references, so let's go and get them. I was thinking that recreating a material using just professional textures was kinda cheating and also my video would be already ended, so my idea is to recreate 4 different wood materials using 4 different techniques, using some professional textures, using the Godot Visual Shader interface to generate parametric textures, using the shader programming language in Godot and using a second visual shading approach. In computer graphics, a procedural texture is a texture created using a mathematical description i.e. an algorithm, rather than directly stored data. The advantage of this approach is low storage cost, unlimited texture resolution and easy texture mapping. These kinds of textures are often used to model surface or volumetric representations of natural elements such as wood, marble, and others. Usually, the natural look of the rendered result is achieved by the usage of fractal noise and turbulence functions. These functions are used as a numerical representation of the randomness found in nature. For the first attempt, I decided to go with the Visual Shader Editor in Godot. I started loading the node to generate random noise, and once I got it, I started stretching the texture to generate the classic grooves of wood. I even tried some pro trick I learned using another texture to randomize the coordinates of the texture I want to distort, but it didn't work. I can't figure out the reason why. Unfortunately, I don't have any functionality in this tool to transform the texture space. Ok, the noise texture trick worked, I didn't notice any result until I started to play with the scaling parameters. Then came the easy part, I just needed to prepare this texture in order to feed every input, such roughness, normal and albedo. The most time consuming part was to choose the right color for the wood to look realistic. As a second material I choose to make an easy one, so it was time to use the professional textures. For this material the most of the work was already done, I just had to plug in every texture in its own input. As the third material I want to use another app and then import the texture into Godot. But hey, you are cheating! I hear you say. Well, it happens that this app was coded using the Godot engine itself, so I can technically say that I'm still using Godot. In 
general, I can say that this interface is much better for the creation of parametric textures than the one from Godot. And there are tons of noise functions I can use to shape any kind of texture. Searching a little bit, I finally found a node that has allowed me to manipulate the texture coordinates. Let's finally move on the fourth and last material, the most difficult one. I will use the shader programming language. But don't be scared, it's not as bad as it sounds. I promise that I will simplify as much as possible all the process to make it understandable. At the beginning, I had some trouble understanding the logic of this language, so I spent a little time doing some tests, manipulating the geometry directly from the code. Back to the hood material, I used the same nice texture I generated for the first material, importing it via code to save some time and memory. It seems that for some unexpected reason, the code I wrote was actually working. So, this is the final result. After all, I think I did a decent job. The material I coded with the shader language is not great, but it's pretty decent. What do you think? If you have any comment or suggestion, please write it in the section down below. What do you get from nervous cows? Milkshakes. Without geometry, life is pointless. A pessimist's blood type is B negative. My girlfriend told me she was leaving me because I keep pretending to be a transformer. I said, no wait, I can change. If you liked this video, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button. Until the next challenge, always thank you for watching, bye humans!